Hi there, my name is Jay, and here's what happened this week in Hearthstone. Let's get right into it. Battlegrounds Lobby Legends is this weekend, and we did not know any of the specifics until Wednesday this week. But hey, if you're watching this video early in the morning on Saturday, here is your chance to watch the event. Today and tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is 6 p.m. Central European Standard Time. I always get those confused. So just a couple of hours from this video's launch, there's plenty of time. It's a $50,000 prize pool. Day one will be 16 players across two lobbies, three matches per lobby. Day two is the top eight players from day one and a check format. Zotel and Raven are hosting and it will be viewed on both Twitch and YouTube. Check it out. I would really like to see HSE Sports give us more notice and updates for these events so fans can plan to be there. Last minute updates will have less people be prepared to watch. Just saying everyone. Early this week, the mechs and Quillbore tribes were added into the Battleground Season 4 and now the real meta games begin. The game's challenge has been pushed up a notch with all the tribes being added finally. And while the game is very fun, I can still not get out of the dumpster. I think I need to play many more games before I get the swing of things, but here are my impressions right now of each tribe. Mechs, the magnetic change is awesome. Being able to magnetize without board space limitations is a game changer and super fun. Quillbore, I'm still fleshing things out, not quite sure yet. I've been a fan of Quillbore since I've been playing Battlegrounds, so even before Season 4, I'm hoping that this is not a nerf to the tribe. I think Quillbore that have the ability to adjust the bonus of the Blood Gems are too high in the tier list, but I need to give it more time. Beasts, still busted, even with the recent nerfs to several of the minions. Demons, very cool mechanic. I love the ability to gain buffs to minions, doing harm to my hero, and this is my favorite tribe so far. Elementals, looks like the weakest of the tribes. I have not been able to get a top five with this tribe yet. Pirates, not as strong without Hogger in my opinion, but still have some major potential for scaling. I also love the new gold me mechanic, even better than the Hogger rolling. Undead, not much has changed in my eyes, still playing this out with the tribe. Naga, love the new interactions, doing very well with this tribe. I'm liking uh, all of the minions that I've seen so far for the tribe. Dragons, mixed results with this tribe. I do not think I have played enough of them yet to conclude a love or hate relationship yet. And Murlocs, Murlocs are busted and fun and I'm not missing the poisonous at all. I mentioned in the video this week that when the first news of the upcoming Heroic Tavern Brawl was announced and the new Death Knight skins were shown, the understanding was that you needed to win three Heroic Tavern Brawl games to get the Frostmonger Psy Death Knight skin. But when we logged in the day before the event was to start, our task list had play three instead of win three. Looks like someone done goofed, and you may think that Blizzard would have just reverted back to win three, right? Nope. Blizzard decided to be awesome again and keep it to play three games and get the Death Knight skin. Thanks, Blizzard. Never would have gotten the skin without that change. This week's shop update included something I do not think I've ever seen before. The ability to purchase individual random legendary cards, both regular and golden versions. I love that they brought this ability in game, and I hope it's not a limited time. In terms of the price, I think these are very good considering the pricing model on some other games. The fact one individual card in Marvel Snap can run you over $50 to acquire, $10 USD is pretty good. Of course, with the randomness, you do not know what you're going to get. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on this, uh, the good and the bad of it. Uh, leave a comment below. Looking for something awesome to do this weekend? There's a lot going on. But if you're interested in whooping some Hearthstone Heine and winning some loot, Baby Bear is hosting a tournament this weekend, and the prize is 15 card packs. Every Sunday, she is hosting a community event for her community through Mobius, and the sign-up link will be listed in the description below. This is, like I said, an ongoing tournament for her, so go send some support her way. Audio Apocalypse, the new mini set launching on May 31st, consists of 38 new cards, 4 legendary cards, 1 epic card, 17 rare cards, and 16 common cards. Those new cards can either be opened in Festival of Legends packs or purchased as a complete 72 card set. Normal version of the mini set can be purchased for $14.99 or 2,000 gold, and the all golden version can be purchased for $69.99 or 10,000 gold. 
The golden mini set option also includes a bonus diamond legendary. Check out the patch notes in the description below, which will also include the reveal schedule. I have several small videos lined up discussing all the cards in the mini set, so stay tuned for those. That's it for this week in Hearthstone. Please like and subscribe if you are a fan of what I'm doing here. And until next time, hope to see you in the tavern.